all the guys that are going super fast, you guys can see he is just like hacking his butt off. <laughs> Hey there guys, MCB here, and today we are going to be doing an Onage PE Minecraft Pocket Edition server review. Now, just so you guys know, this is probably not going to be the highest quality server review I've ever done. I'm not able to get into my recording studio, so I'm, I'm just trying to find a relatively quiet place, but this is basically the best I can find. Our house is much smaller than it used to be, and we have um, constructors over in our house building a new wall in the next room over, so... This is, this is basically the best I could find. I can't even get very good Wi-Fi in here, but it's it's the best spot that there was. But we're going to be doing a very quick review on Onage PE. Now, you guys may have seen Onage PE in an earlier hacking video of mine, because, like, I think it was half a year to a year ago. I don't remember the exact date. But quite a while back, I uh, had a small hacking series, which I made a, like, fourth installment of a few months back. Um, but a while ago I had a hacking series on servers that just didn't have very good staff, or someone like that. Um, I think it was abusive staff. And Onage was one of those servers. Uh, since then, though, Onage has, like, done a staff revamp and everything. And so we are going to be reviewing it now. So, uh, yeah. You guys can see they have Arcade, OP Kit PvP, and Zombie Survival, but these are all offline for whatever reason. And then we have three these three. Now, since the staff revamp, um, there's not been many hackers getting banned, sadly. So, it kind of makes this kit PvP one that I just clicked on basically impossible to play. The other ones are decent, but I'll show you what I mean once I get onto this one. Here, let me um, wait for it to load up. Here we go. And grab a kit. And watch this. I jump down. No big deal, right? But you can see there's this diamond guy over here. I don't know why I'm lagging so much. And this guy is hacking. And there's also another guy down this way named Minecrafter. Oh no, that guy's not hacking. Never mind. Uh, but all the guys that are going super fast, you guys can see he is just like hacking his butt off. And there's another guy uh, named... This guy is hacking and this guy is hacking. And they're both using this thing don't visit that by the way it's gonna steal your account information it's not an actual hack well it is but not like a hack you put on your machine it's like they hack your account details and stuff so like don't don't do that no bad okay oh that's some good stuff i'm just gonna take all this thank you very much and no don't kill me dot slash spawn I'm just going to put some under chest because that looks pretty decent uh, gear. But yeah, and that's about it, it for this part of the server, at least. I don't know why it's lagging. I can't open these. But that's about it for this part of the server. Uh, you can't really do much at all because it's kind of infested by hackers. The normal kit PvP, though, is decent. And then there's factions, and I... I haven't, I actually was considering making a series on the Onage factions quite a while back, but I decided against it, you know, since the whole abusive staff thing. But I'll showcase the kit PvP next, because it's the closest we can get to, okay, what is this lag? It's the closest we can get to combat zone, without as many hackers. Mainly because kit PvP just has, it, it's more staffed. The entire network's very understaffed, but almost all the staff go to kit PvP. So there's not too many hackers there, although there are a few. They usually get banned relatively quickly. Usually. Uh, so let's grab... That's the FPS arena. That's a kit selector. So I'm going to get, say... I might as well get kit monthly since I'm never going to be playing here again, most likely. Um, and then let's go to kit FPS... Or warp FPS. I'll leave a gapple. And let's just jump down. So you guys can see, it doesn't look like there's all that many hackers in here. It looks pretty decent. I don't get what's with all the naked players, but they are here for whatever reason. Uh, so this is the monthly kit. It gives you some decent gear, golden apples, stuff. Why are you following me? Okay, you're really going to kill me like this. Okay.
I don't get why I'm lagging so much. This guy is win 10. 100%. Am I getting 3v1? What's going on here? I'm getting 3v1! <sighs> yeah, okay, so that's something you gotta watch out for, clearly. Uh, let's get Kit Weekly. Since that went very well. Spawn, I think, is much safer, though. There's not many people that are teaming in Spawn. From what I can remember, so... Yeah. You can get some kills... Or you can get 2v1. Jeez. Really? Okay. Well, yeah, maybe maybe just don't play the kid PvP at all. Because clearly this kid PvP is just absolute... It's, it's trash. It's trash. One of them is filled with hackers, and the other one's filled with teamers. So, can't really do that. Then, I suppose factions is probably your best bet um, to play on. I didn't realize that there were that many teamers on the normal kid PvP. It wasn't like that. Definitely wasn't. Um, yeah. Since neither of those are very good, I would say probably the other ones are a better idea. Not OP kit PvP, but try Arcade and um, this, because you can't really get teamed in those. Um, or at least any more than you should. In, day in the Daisy style survival one, you can get teamed, but you're also going to have your own team. It's not going to be, like, unfair. And it's the same way in uh, factions, because, you know, obviously factions, but you're probably going to have your own faction. I really don't care why I keep disconnecting from ownage. I have decent Wi-Fi. It's just... It just hates me. But yeah, I will really quick show you guys how factions works. It's pretty similar to literally every other faction server you've ever played. It's not unique in any way, really. It's just that. I mean, their ownage, they got popular. They got a bunch of... Um, players so they decide do you know what let's just add in another game mode because it's not gonna take much uh effort and it didn't i would presume and so now they've got factions i would suggest um playing on infernal factions because it is better you guys can see uh i'm an admin on there so that's part of why i'm saying this but i also actually believe it's better because it's got like custom plugins and custom layouts and everything it's got a bunch of youtubers and a bunch of staff there won't be very many hackers and i just i think it's not generic if that makes any sense it's not like just your generic mcpe factions so, yeah, I would definitely say to check out Infernal, which is infernal or play.infernalnetwork.us. Well, last time I checked that, that was the IP. It could have changed. But yeah, you can see these are the factions. It's not, and it disconnected me. Okay, well, you know what? I just gave up on ownage. I, it's, it's obviously a problem with ownage. My, I've got three bars. Ownage just hates me. But yeah, this is Infernal. It's very small right now, but uh, once I and a few other people start a YouTube series, it's going to grow pretty pretty quickly. You're not going to let me into the server? Okay, there we go. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit around it, but yeah, it's played on InfernalNetwork.us, and uh, once I get on, I'll show you. It's got like its own custom color scheme, spawn, war zone, commands, everything. Uh, you guys can see I'm an admin plus, and uh, definitely pretty cool server. Definitely a pretty cool server. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this review. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace.